What is going on, my Aussie Shooter Squad? Today I've got something very special for you guys. Today I've got the AK-47. Now this thing is not real, unfortunately. This is just a toy cap gun, guys. Uh, it does have a removable magazine, which is pretty cool, but as you can see, it does not hold any rounds. Uh, and then if you pull the charging handle back, it does have a functioning charging handle. Uh, and you can insert your caps right in here. So it's just a, ta uh, a toy a cap gun, guys. It's not anything crazy. But you know what? I really, really wish that um, I could do a review on a real gun. This really, really sucks. Wait a second. What's that? I think someone just knocked on my door. Let's go have a look, guys. Hang on, let's go. All right, someone knocked on the door out here. Let's go see who it is. Oh my God, it's Skippy. Skippy, wait, wait. What is that in your hand, Skippy? Oh my God, is this what I think it is? No, you didn't, Skippy. Do you, do you mind? Do you mind if I quickly, quickly grab this off you? Yep. Thank you. Perfect. Ah, get off of it. Oh my God. Yes. Let's have a look. Let's see if it is what I think it is. Oh my God. Yes. All right. Let's go, guys. Alrighty, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Lithgow 22 bolt action rifle. That is right guys, I finally managed to pick up my first rifle. Now this thing is second hand as you can see that it's got some, you know, wood marks and it's got uh, someone's name there, Ali. I'm not too sure who that was, um, but it's in pretty good condition overall. The stock uh, does need to be refinished, um, but I'm going to be doing some uh, reviews on how to refinish a stock on the channel very soon. So that will probably be the next video after this. Uh, and then once I've done my refinishing of the stock, like I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, patch up all this. And there's also some little dents here in the stock as well. Uh, and also some scratches. And I'll show you guys how to fix that for people that want to uh, refurbish their stock. Now, as I said, this is a 22 caliber bolt action rifle made by Lithgow. Uh, small arms factory here in Australia. I think they're based in New South Wales. I might be wrong uh, with that one. So if you want to correct me in the comments below, you guys are more than welcome to, but I believe they're in New South Wales. Uh, so I think they only specialize in small arms like 22s, air rifles and, and stuff like that. Uh, when purchasing this rifle, it also came with a 10 round magazine, guys, which is really cool. It is a little bit worn out. Like I said, this gun is second hand. It's been around the bush a fair few times. Uh, more than likely probably taking down some uh, foxes and rabbits with it as well. Um, so this is the, the main side of it. So let's have a look at the other side as well. So let me just quickly remove this around. It's a little bit hard with uh, one hand. We'll try and do this in the most safest manner. This gun is unloaded too, guys, so don't worry. It is not loaded. I'll definitely show you the chamber to make sure that you guys know that there is no rounds. Uh, in there at all. It's all clear. Um, so let me just quickly do this. Sorry about the camera angle right now, guys. So this is the other side of the rifle. Uh, nothing special or anything like that. This is where it has the uh, made by Lithgow and just the 22 Australian part. It's a little bit hard to see because the barrel is a little bit old. Um, on the other side too, you can see there's a little bit of an imperfection on the stock here as well, like a little nick. I think someone might have put a nail in there to uh, put a sling on it to tell you the truth, because that's kind of what it looks like, a little nail hole. Um, I don't know why they didn't just put a screw in the bottom or something like that, but anyway, um, I'll be able to fix that. Uh, to disassemble this rifle, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is unscrew this here, and uh, the whole top bit comes off from the stock, but I'll show you all that uh, when we do the refinishing on this thing. I'm really excited to make this stock look brand new. Now the buff, uh, the recoil pad, sorry, not the buff pad, the recoil pad is a little bit worn out. It's a little bit cracked and stuff like that, uh, which is, you know, it won't really affect anything. It's only a 22, so it's not gonna kick too hard. So what I might do is pause the video. I'm gonna put the bolt and the magazine in. Don't worry, the magazine is also empty, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the bolt and magazine in it. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like with the bolt and magazine uh, installed. It looks pretty cool. Uh, don't worry guys, it is unloaded. There's no uh, cartridges in the magazine or in the chamber, as you can see, it is clear. Um, but it's pretty cool, man. I absolutely love this rifle. There was one weird thing that I found with this uh, 22 bolt action rifle. It actually doesn't have a magazine release or anything like that, like most rifles do. To actually take the magazine out, what you actually have to do is literally pull on the magazine, just like that, which I thought was a bit weird. I mean, I don't know how long that mechanism would last, because, you know, coming in and out, um, 
eventually you would think it would wear out very quick. So, I mean, I guess a, a normal, like a button mechanism would wear out too, but I feel like you're gonna wear your magazine out a little bit and also probably be a bit harder to fix if something goes wrong. Um, but that's the only downfall that I kind of found of it. Uh, another thing is, is me safety, which is up here. So uh, you got safe, uh, which is over here. And then, you know, you got your fire, which is over here. Um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the bolt moves quite well. As I said, this thing is unloaded. So I'm just gonna show you how smooth this bolt works. This bolt works really nice. Oh, yeah, as I said that, there we go. But this thing is an absolute awesome rifle. Uh, another downside to it as well, this is something, this is like how I like it, is to remove the, uh, let me just remove the magazine, out, just you know, for safety reasons, even though it's unloaded. Uh, but to remove the bolt on this rifle, you actually have to pull the trigger down and then push the bolt backwards instead of having like a, uh, a bolt release uh, on the side where you can you know, press that and then you know pull it out. I kind of don't like pulling the trigger sort of deal, you know what I mean? Um, so that's the only thing I don't like about the rifle. Other than that, the rifle is absolutely beautiful. Shoot straight. Um, it doesn't come with any uh, scope mounts at all. Um, it does come with an iron sight, which is here, which is adjustable. Uh, you can adjust it. Uh, to accord in a little peep sight at the front as well. Uh, you can adjust that as well. Um, but I'm going to take it to a gunsmith soon and uh, hopefully they'll be able to put uh, a on the lathe and they'll be able to lathe some uh, scope mounts in there so I can mount a scope to it. Uh, I've already got one uh, in my gun safe waiting for it. I just got to take it to the, guns, uh, the gunsmith and uh, get him to do that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful rifle. I mean, I don't mind shooting with iron sights. You know, there's nothing wrong with shooting with iron sights. But I had a spare scope sitting around, so why not uh, chuck it on her? Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful rifle. If you guys are looking at picking up one of these rifles, I picked this one up secondhand for about uh, $100, which is absolutely crazy here in Australia, so it's not too expensive. Um, like I said, it is secondhand. I believe it was built back in 19... Uh, 80s, I may be wrong, but I think that the bloke said it was built back in 1980s, so it's quite an old rifle, that's for sure. Um, Lithgow still makes rifles today, but obviously not this particular model, Model 12. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy tonight, uh, today's video. If uh, you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button, because I'm going to be doing some more reviews on some more guns very soon, uh, as well as a stock refurbish as well. I'm going to show you guys how to refinish a stock and get rid of uh, this name and uh, imperfections in this stock. All right, guys, as always, catch you in the next one.